print a way bill, we put it on it, and it heads out, and we, you know, we, we send it to a, a buyer in wherever. Yeah, wherever that buyer is. Okay, let me sounds simple enough. It, it, it sounds very simple. <laughs> it's simple. a bit complex in the back end. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. That's <laughs> why I'm telling you. <laughs> That's why I'm telling you, Takuma. In terms of managing your inventory, since some of that inventory is not really your yes. inventory, yes. Yes. how do you manage it to ensure that in terms of result of delivery, because if you not use a lawyer again, well, she's the trader, she's got clothes she wants to sell, and suddenly it picks up and people are on ordering for 20 pieces of this outfit. <coughs> How do you manage that inventory to ensure delivery to time and... So our app and the online, the web version of the product enables our merchants to manage their inventory. We also have the quality of service rules. So our merchants are trained. They know that if they overinflate their inventory, we could turn them off, for example. Mm -hmm. So they are, they are, I think they've been very, very disciplined about managing. They also don't want their level of service to drop. They also want to serve the customer. So I think they all reflect the same um, mission we have to serve the Nigerian consumer. Yeah, exactly. So they all mostly, but you do find, you could find one or two, but after a while they understand that we could turn them off if they're not able to deliver. So essentially, they won't list what they do not have. And as long as they don't list what they do not have, mm -hmm. they are able to bring it up to us and we're able to take it to the consumer. Mm -hmm. So what's the mm -hmm. timeline within which uh, the estimated time for delivery of uh, goods? We, we generally deliver between one and seven days. Uh, what depending on what part of the country are. So some people in Lagos, for example, at the moment can receive Okay, what so where is it? 24 hours. Uh, so let me ask you, where's your furthest point you've had to deliver goods in Nigeria? Oh, I mean, uh, Medugui. Even you go to Medugui. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah even we, we received a message the other day where somebody said, and it's public, I promise you we didn't make this up, it's on Twitter, and he said, how, how were you able to deliver my things to Medugui in 60 hours, 60 hours, even though there are no flights coming in? You know, so it's, it's nationwide, and we, we even see others coming in already from West Africa where people try and force Ghanaian addresses into the system. <laughs> you know, so it's a select state, Lagos, but the addresses are across. across. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell that there's a demand for this across the continent. You know? Wow. Well, yeah. well I um, think that's a best of all this. Yes. We should be seeing more online malls in the near future. Yeah. Yeah, this is a success story. I'm sure many young people listening and watching out there are going to think, wow, that mm. looks like a way to make some money. <laughs> Why don't we go into it? Yeah, right. Because Nigerians seem to have just imbibed this and what we thought was impossible. Yes. People are actually online yeah. making their orders. Yes, and that's true. I think we've actually, and what Condor is trying to do is to do the difficult work so that that young person will have a ready platform, not only the technology platform, but also the logistics platform. It's that second part that is really tough. That's the heavy lifting that nobody in America has had to do. In Europe, they haven't had to do. In China, they haven't had to do. And we have to do it here. Mm. Um, and mm. we can provide that platform so that that young enterprising Nigerian can mm. have a platform to sell from day one. Okay. Well, I'm sure you I mean, I was, uh, no, wait, wait, before we begin to close, I'm yeah. going to ask her to come back again. In, in terms of your warehousing of goods. <coughs> I know that when you've had opportunity of studying what Amazon and eBay they've done, you begin to wonder where do you put all of these goods? Because yes. six hundred million dollar worth, worth of goods <laughs> in two days. <laughs> How do you store them? I think the beauty as well, just going back to the marketplace, is like roughly a third of that came from like independent merchants okay. all over the place. So they could store in their bedrooms in their living rooms, with mm -hmm. wherever. But also we have a, a fairly big warehouse in Isolo, where we store like, the remaining two thirds of the orders that came in. Mm. And then, so that, that's okay, the we, we can see on TV now the visuals of your warehouse. And which of the warehouses will this be then? So this is the one at Isolo. This is Conga's main this warehouse. Is Conga's so Conga is just another seller on the platform. This is where Conga's products sit. You can see fridges, TVs, cookers, we store about 100,000 products here. But like Tox was saying before, Conga is also turning people's garages into warehouses. <laughs> and people's <Wow>. bedrooms. It's a whole democratization yes. of warehouses. Exactly. Now, I'm sure you keep up with the competition as well. <laughs> How did the competition do last week? Oh, look at all those, um, what, what are those? What are those? Oh, my goodness. Yes, 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 it's Congress. It's grown since the last time we saw each other. Oh. It's grown from about 30 vehicles to well over 200 now. 
and we intend to double that again in three months. Oh, so, geez. Yeah. Uh, so, so in, in essence, actually, you should uh, take all the Okada riders and, and turn them into... Employ all of them. No, no, no. This is it. You can go for it. Don't pay. It's all about to go. We're only Okada riders. How did the competition do? Did they do as well as you? I'm sure like, they all, everyone did well in, in the environment. And, and we really, so Yakata is, we're trying to create sort of a cultural event where everybody that participates in e-commerce does really, does really well. But it's one thing to sell things. It's another thing to deliver. And that's one thing I'm really proud of the Conga team. We invested in the logistics. We invested in the system. And it's paying off. Yeah, our website was up the entire time. I'm so proud of the Nigerian team we've built. Um, it, it's the, the website was up. We never had sort of even a single sort of uh, hiccup, and uh, it's something as opposed to some of, other people. Yeah, well, yes, yeah, well, who shall remain nameless? <laughs> no, in fact, the truth mm -hmm. is across the world, the, the in America and especially in the UK as well, during the Black Friday, a number of websites crashed. Yes. Yes. They did, they, they crashed, they did. Websites down, it, it mm -hmm. went down. You have to be able to anticipate the demand and and do all of the right things, invest in the right places. Another one thing we've done right well. They would crash knowing that people, some people have waited one year for this day to come to make almost all their purchases for the next exactly. one year. Exactly. Many Americans do that. They only shop on Black Friday yeah. to buy everything at knockdown prices. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So they're, 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 they're going to be on that site for hours on yeah. end yeah. making all their orders. Yeah. Well done, guys. Yes, this you. is, this is so wonderful well. news. Thank mm. you very much. So, 2015, I would wow. ask from Jacob, 2015, enterprise technology, products, that's your own speciality. I'll come to you in terms of your policy and direction, where you're going strategically, but sure. enterprise uh, technology, where do you see Conga going in 2015? There are three main areas that we're going to invest energies on uh, like our resources in. One we've talked about already is the logistics network. We, we need to do a lot more because we need to strengthen our logistics network to be able to do hundreds of thousands at, at some point. Nigeria has the capacity yes. for that, so we, we need to be able to do that. The other thing is we still have the theme of the hundreds of thousands. We need to build our technologies, the front end, to be able to hold that traffic when it comes comes at us. So what's uh, the traffic you're having now? I know that some websites said they had over 600% in terms of traffic uh, during the last couple of weeks. W what's the traffic you're having? Now? So we saw um, about 500% of normal day traffic during Yakata, and we had the capacity to handle even more. So we had built the systems to handle about 20, 30 uh, times more than we would see on a, on a regular day. Okay, so for 2015, what is your expectation, your projection? We have to start thinking of the hundreds of thousands of <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we do not have a choice because I, I, I think we were able to peek into what the future holds for, for, for e commerce in Nigeria. Okay, uh, so Sim, just before we wrap up, in terms of strategy and projection for yeah. 2015, yeah. where do you see Congo going? So I think, uh, I think e commerce is going to grow tenfold, like Tokes was saying. We need to stop talking about tens of thousands of orders to hundreds of thousands of orders. Um, I think we would not have succeeded if we haven't enabled 24-hour delivery to places like Kaduna, Kano, Meduguri by this time next year. It's possible. And then also we need to allow anybody that wants to sell anywhere in Nigeria to sell on Congo. The fact that only Lagosians can participate in e-commerce right now from the selling side is mm -hmm. not fair. Mm. We need to be able to allow anybody from Ekiti to Enugu, to Lokoja, to Mina to mm -hmm. participate in mm -hmm. this thing. And that's going to be very heavy lifting. Mm. So w when you're talking <laughs> of uh, being able to spread across the country, yes. uh, how happy are you with transactions you're getting, especially where well, you will need to interface with banks and industry exactly. and all that? So I mean, we can spend another 30 minutes talking about that. Payments infrastructure has to get better. Mm. Uh, the POS systems, the wireless systems we bring yes. the card into don't work as well as they should. Um, the payment gateways can improve a bit, but we're working with our partners to try and improve. CBN, please take note. We're working with our partners to try and improve. This has to improve because right now, probably 90% of what we do is cash on delivery, and it can't continue. Cash on delivery. Yes, I mean, wow. if we don't fix this, e-commerce will not develop. But we're, we're, we have goods. I mean, we're working very closely with, with our partners, and I think we'll crack this in 2015. But the issues of trust, how do you deal with that? This, the people you send to go deliver who are collecting cash on your behalf? <laughs> they're, they're well incentivized. We have systems that make sure. Look, Conga is building a system where, just like a seller, 
if 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 we're the only ones making money, it doesn't make sense. But if Congo makes money and the delivery man makes money, 